so today is December 28th and I really hope I get this video published before the new year. Hello everyone and welcome back to Eileen's world. Um, so in today's video, we are going to be going over all of my beauty favorites from this year. So all of the products that I'm going to be talking about, they are products that I discovered this year. So it's a mix of new releases, but also just products that I purchased and started trying out and fell in love with. If you're nosy and you want to find out what beauty products that I fell in love with this year and I think that you should absolutely try, uh, then make sure you just keep on watching. And if you're new here, my name is Eileen. Hi, and welcome back to Eileen's World. I love to make videos on just basically things that I love in my life, and that's a combination of traveling, makeup. Yeah, I, I love to review products and give you guys my feedback. I love to travel and go to new places, old places, try things out, and also give you guys my feedback as well. So if that sounds like something you like and enjoy, uh, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. Goal for 2022 is to get to a thousand subscribers. Let's see if we can make that happen soon. I am also cat sitting right now, and if you hear meowings, like that right there, it's because he's outside of the door. And so I'm gonna divide this video up into a couple different categories. That way this video is semi-organized. I'm gonna to try to go through it as quickly as possible and just share with you the top reasons as to why I love these products. So I feel like it's been such an interesting year for makeup because it was another year where we were wearing masks the entire time. But with that said, I still found a solid bunch of makeup that I fell in love with up there so first off let's start with eyes so my first makeup favorite of this year it's going to be the NARS tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base so let's quickly go over what I love about this product one it's the formula it's tinted it dries on my skin nicely it doesn't leave like a white cast over my eyeshadow like a lot of um, non tinted eyeshadow primers do and this comes in a variety of shades I got the shade medium which works perfect for me I mean not only does it have a tint not only does it have perform um, with any type of eyeshadow and eyeliner it also has a doe foot applicator which makes the application process so much easier you don't have to use your fingers you can if you want there are days that I use my fingers to blend it out but if you don't want to you have the doe foot it just makes application so easy you can control how much you want out and unlike other eyeshadow primers that I've tried before which come out of like a squeezy tube and then a little bit more liquid this is to me it's a little bit more of like a moussey texture a moussey formula so very easy to apply very easy to not over apply like you don't you can actually control the amount of product that you want to come out next up we have the glossier monochromes essential eyeshadow trio this here was a new launch this year and i ordered this as soon as it launched i ordered two colors and this is the one that i've used the most and pretty much use every single day since i purchased it and it's in the shade almond so what i love about this is that this type of palette is perfect for like an eyeshadow minimalist. I'm not the type of person who buys like large palettes. I don't experiment with crazy colors. I don't really change up my eyeshadow or eye makeup look that much. Um, so this is perfect because it comes with three shades that are all in the same color story, but you get them in three different finishes. So you have a matte version, you have a satin version, and you have a shimmer version. And it is what I am wearing on my eye today. My favorite way of wearing this is actually using the uh, matte shadow as an all over crease. And then I use a shimmer to kind of um, highlight my eyes. And again, it's all in the same color family, so you can truly use each of them individually which i've done before if i'm feeling a little bit lazy you can use all three together you can mix two so you can get a variety of looks with just one palette and you know bonus points because the packaging is really cute it comes with a mirror that you can pop out and also it's refillable so once you are done 
with the actual like palette you can just pop it out and just buy the refill and you save a couple dollars there and I also want to mention that this is a winning combo because this makes the shadow last all day long and it doesn't crease at all next up is this uh, little nub that I have right over here and this is the Molly Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Eyeliner. So the color that I'm using, it's, uh, it's a brown shade. The color has come off. I wasn't able to find it online, but I can. the black version is still available online. So I'll link that down below along with everything else. All right, I gotta check on this cat. <sighs> All right, the cat's in. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, this year I really transitioned from that stark liquid liner look and wanted a more softer eye look, but still wanted, you know, to have a, a liner to accentuate my eyes. So I've been on the search for a nice dark brown chocolate eyeliner that will stay on all day. And how it applies is uh, initially when you apply it on, it's kind of has like a Gel, it's gel like so it's super smooth, but it dries down after a while So you have like, you know, maybe like 30 seconds of playing playing time with it And then it sets and again in combination with that NARS eyeshadow primer. It doesn't budge I mean, there's some lazy days when I don't want to use a primer and then I immediately regret it because my makeup the shadow the eyeliner literally melts off smudges off so for lip products, I have two that I really love this year and that I consistently used. And again, you know, lips, we weren't, we were wearing masks, so there was really no need to really be using lipstick or liquid lipstick because it would just smear and it just wasn't comfortable under a mask. So the first one that I loved was the Glossier Ultra Lips. Um, I have a video reviewing some of the colors I, I bought when it first launched, so I will link it up there for you guys. But since then, I've ordered like, I don't know, I think I had at one point like seven in my collection. Some I actually decluttered because I didn't love the color on me. Um, and most recently, I bought the cranberry shade. It was limited edition for the holidays. So aside from the super cute packaging, what I love most about the Ultra Lip it was that it was designed to be like a hybrid of a lip balm, a lip gloss, a lipstick, and it's supposed to give you kind of like an effortless look. And it's perfect for this year because it's definitely not as heavy as a liquid lipstick or a lipstick, but it still gave you color as if you were wearing an actual lipstick. Um, it gives you a shine of a gloss, it gives you the comfort of a balm and it gives you the color payoff of a lipstick. It's really the best combination of all three. Let's say in your purse you didn't have a lip balm and all you... Ooh! Are you okay? Let's say in your purse you didn't have a lip balm and all you had was a Glossier um, Ultra Lip, you, you can use it as a lip balm. Next up, it's uh similar because it's also another balm and it's the summer fridays lip butter balm in the color vanilla beige the formula it, it's it's a balm it's balmy and it has a really pretty caramel coffee tint to it and i'm wearing it right now and i'm wearing it over a lip liner but i love wearing it on my bare lips it gives your lips like a nice warm light brown tint but it also pairs really well with lip liner as well so it smells delicious it has a nice vanilla scent i love the consistency as well because it's balmy a little bit glossy but not sticky i love how the tube is a lot longer than like your standard lip lip gloss or lip balm tube it's a nice matte finish i mean everything that summer fridays does is just so aesthetically pleasing and and if you actually look at the applicator it has this curve to it which makes the application just so nice and mm feels good it smells good and again just one of those things that I just like to have in my bag you need a tint of color you need your lips hydrated this is your this is your lip balm 
All right, let's move on to some of my favorite face products. And disclaimer, I didn't do this on purpose, but all of them are actually from Flower Beauty. So the first one that I have, it's the Flower Blush Balm. And this product isn't new, it's kind of YouTube famous, but the color that I got and loved it in is in the color Spiced, and that's a new color that they launched this year. What I love about it, and also it's the shade that I have on my cheeks today. So let's talk about the formula. It is not a cream, it's not a liquid, it's like a gel consistency. You just need a little dab on your cheeks and you just blend it out and it has great color payoff. And what's also nice is that it's layerable. So if you wanna build, you wanna layer, you can definitely do that. The colors that I always feel like I look best in for blushes are gonna be more peachy, browns, and this is such a nice uh, shade. It's like a terracotta shade. It looks really good for fall makeup. It looks really good for summer makeup. And it's in this tube. You'll never run out because there's so much. This is the... This is what the applicator looks like. Super easy to get just a small little drop of product. Too much never comes out. Next favorite product for the face, and that's from Flower Beauty. It's going to be their Flower Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. So I have the Day Glow Highlighting Glaze in the shade Stunner. I think it comes in two shades, um, maybe more of like a bronzy one, but this is the one that I have and love. It's gonna give you dewy and glass light skin and it really does. It's the highlighter that I have on the bridge of my nose, the high points of my cheeks, and also um, and under my arch as well. Wow, this is $10 and it looks beautiful on the skin. It's so easy to apply. And most importantly with highlighter, because it's most for the most part, it's like the last step that we add on to our makeup. It sits so nicely on other makeup. It doesn't move the makeup that's underneath, which is my pet peeve. It gives you such a pretty glow. Can you see it under my hair? Another reason why I love this product is that it gives you dew and glow without being shimmery. It's no glitter, there's no shimmer. It just is like, it's just a pretty pearlescent finish. Lastly for face, um, it's going to be the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation. One, it's, it's affordable and it just makes my skin look dewy and glowy and gives me that medium coverage that I love. Sits well on my skin, it plays well with other makeup, it's not matte, it's not too dewy. Um, on here it says it's a nude skin feel, so my skin never feels heavy when I'm wearing this and it's, it's what I'm wearing on my um, face right now and such a good foundation. Okay, so we've gone through eyes, lips, face. I have a couple miscellaneous beauty things that I want to share with you guys that didn't fit into those categories, but definitely worth mentioning. The first one, I guess this is kind of like skincare slash other beauty stuff. So for skincare, uh, this was a year of sunscreen for me. I can officially say that I use sunscreen on my face every single day. So my first skincare favorite of the year, it's going to be the Neutrogena Invisible Daily Defense Face Serum SPF 60. I don't have it with me because I ran out and I haven't repurchased it yet because I have a ton of other sunscreens that I need to get through first. The reason why I'm choosing this one to be my 2021 favorite is that it's probably the most accessible. It can be purchased at any drugstore, Walmart, Target, online, all of that, and it's like $15. Not only is it an, a great sunscreen, it's SPF 60, it has this pretty, like, peachy, peachy tone to it, so when you put it on your skin, it blends out so nicely. It leaves your skin with a pretty dew, so if you don't wanna wear makeup, you have a nice glow. If you do wanna wear makeup, it's a great primer. Moving on to the next product, which is also kind of related, it's the Banana Boat Hair and Scalp Defense. This guy right over here, it is SPF 30. I don't know about you, but I feel like our hair and especially our hairline is so neglected when it comes to sunscreen. We're always worried about our face when we go out and then our body, but are we ever thinking about our hair or our hairline? 
so a couple years ago I went on vacation and I got a sunburn on my hairline. I didn't even know it was a sunburn until I came home and it was scabbing. Um, so ever since then, I would take normal sunscreen, I would put it on a Q-tip and I would, you know, dab it down my, my center part. But it would make my hair look greasy because the sunscreen is so thick. Oliver, no. So this year I discovered this uh, banana boat hair and scalp defense and it's protection not only for your scalp but also for your hair. So it's a very light mist and it has a nice scent to it. Can you see that? It smells nice um, and most importantly it doesn't weigh down your hair and it doesn't make your hair look greasy. My only one complaint is that I wish it would come in a smaller size because how long is it gonna take you to finish this? And when I travel, I have to check in my luggage just so that I can bring this. Continuing in the face uh, category, it's the Vanity Cream Moisturizing Cream. This I've talked about in, I think it's my May or June monthly favorites from earlier this year. Uh, this has been my one and only nighttime moisturizer that I've used since. $14, one pound, thick moisturizing cream. It keeps my skin so moisturized that I wake up in the morning and my skin feels plump. Uh oh. So we are almost getting to the very end. I have two more products that I wanna talk about. But let's move on to some of the miscellaneous things that I have. My favorite fragrance this year is the Alt Bohemian Water. And if you're not familiar with Alt, it's a brand that makes uh, like replicas of designer fragrances. And this one, Bohemian Water, is an exact dupe for the Byredo Gypsy Water. It smells so good and I'm almost done with this bottle too. This is $39 and if you buy the Byredo version of Gypsy Water for the same exact size, it's $190. And yes, the packaging is kind of basic. It's not that cute, but I'm telling you, I wear this and people are asking me, well, one, what I'm wearing and two, if I'm wearing Gypsy Water. I have people duped. This, it's made in the USA, um, it has great reviews, $39, check it out, especially if you love Byredo Gypsy Water. People who own Gypsy Water that I know of think this is Gypsy Water when I'm wearing it. So the next favorite that I have are going to be the Ohora Semi-Cured Gel Nail Stickers. And really, truly, at any given time, I always have like, at least seven different styles. And it's what I have on my nails right now. I just did these last night. Um, I have a whole tutorial on how to use these that I'll link up there. I haven't gone to get my nails done in like over two years. But why go out and get your nails done for like, I don't know, $30 when you can get the same look at home in the comfort of your own home and you can change the color whenever you want with these semi cured gel stickers so what I love about these is that they come in such a huge variety of colors and styles they range from 11 to I think like $17 depending on how intricate the designs are you know each package comes with like 30 nail stickers and for me at least I can use each set twice so if this costs $11 then pretty much each manicure that I have that I use with this so it's like five five fifty easy to use super fun colors easy to remove are they a hundred percent healthy for your nails no but do I think they're better than gel or powder yes but you know, nothing, nothing's perfect in the world, but I mean, my nails are still healthy and my nails would not be able to grow this long if I didn't have these like gel nail stickers. I get so many compliments on them. I've turned so many people onto using it. I don't even paint my nails anymore because I am addicted to oh. All right guys, we're at the very end of this. Uh, last product that I have is a hair product and it's the Bedhead Making Waves Hair Waver. I don't think it's called a crimper, it's called a hair waver. 
So this I purchased uh, at the end of November during Black Friday because I saw it on somebody's like Christmas wish list or Christmas gift guide. I haven't stopped using this since. It's what I used on my hair today to make these really cute beachy-ish waves. And let me tell you, this is $25. It heats up super quickly. I love this more than my Dyson Airwrap. And that is like $500. This is so simple to use. You literally, like me, I have fine hair so I can, I'll split my hair in half and I'll kind of divide it into three different sections and I just kind of make my way down. I try not to get the bottom because I don't want it to be too wavy. It gives you such pretty waves without looking like ramen, like ramen noodles. I, I don't, for me at least, I don't feel like the waves are too tight. It doesn't look too crimpy. It just looks nice and wavy. So if you look at it, it's like rounded versus being like, you know, this or some kind of like odd, unnatural shape. I took this with me when I went to Puerto Rico a couple weeks back and I, to be honest, I felt like when I wore it and in combination with the humidity of Puerto Rico, I felt like I was letting my natural waves come out and I don't even have natural waves. It gives me volume, it gives me like everything that I've wanted with my hair that I just could never achieve with a curling iron or with a Dyson Airwrap because it's too complicated for me. And it's so easy. You literally just, and you're good to go. And then you get these waves. I fooled a couple people thinking that these are my natural waves. All right, well, this is officially the end of the video. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, my beauty favorites of 2021. If you've tried any of these products, please let me know down in the comments below. Or if you have any questions about the products, let me know down in the comments below as well. If there's anything that you guys want me to try or recommend, please leave that down in the comments below as well. And I am wishing everybody a wonderful new year, a wonderful 2022. I am very excited for this coming year. I mean, I'm excited for every year that comes. I'm excited for every new day that comes. Yeah, if you like this video, found it helpful, lol. Please make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. I anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate your support. And I will see you guys in my next video. Happy New Year!